Say hi, baby. Hi, mommy. How's it going? Um, we got to pick all the markers we have. You're gonna pick all my markers? Can you pick me three for the three marker challenge today? Just pick any three, just three. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, let me see. What does it say? It say, oh gee. This is the BG78 bronze. Okay, what else? <laughs> two more. That's two. Let me see. Which one is this? This is Peacock Blue B06. Okay, one more. And this one is R35 Coral. Let me see the markers. Hold them for me. Say, Mommy, do the three marker challenge. Three markers challenge! Yeah! Say, let's go. Let's go. Okay, everybody, so as you saw in the opening, uh, my little munchkin, she went ahead and she picked three markers for me at random. She really enjoys picking the markers for me on my three marker challenge, so I'm going to go ahead and if I make future videos doing the three marker challenge, I'm going to have her randomly pick them for me. Um, so last time in my other one, I'll link the video down below. She picked me all red, so I did the guy from the avatar. So if you want to see that video, the link will be down below. Um, this time she picked me out the three markers she picked are B06 Peacock Blue, BG78 Bronze, R35 Coral, and I couldn't think of anything to draw with this, so I sketched out this little character here and I decided to give him uh, blue skin, kind of like, maybe like an elf I was going with, like a blue elf type of character. Uh, and I used the bronze for the shading in the skin, as you can see right here. The bronze came in handy. It's more of a green color. I'm not sure why exactly it's called bronze, but it's it's green. <laughs> it's, it's like a dark green. I used that for the shading in the skin. Um, I also used the bronze color for the shading in the hair to give the, the red hair a little bit of a green undertone. Actually, uh, when I was sketching this drawing out, I didn't like it at all, and I was thinking about just redoing it, but I decided to stick with it and to see where it took me after I colored it. And I do like the final outcome. Uh, if I'm glad I didn't throw it away. If you guys are feeling like that sometimes, you're like, oh my god, this drawing totally sucks and I don't want to finish it because you just don't like where it's going, just stick with it and take it to the end and see if it changes or see if you get you feel you know happier about it. Because that's how this piece was for me. I just I wanted to crumple up the paper right off the bat. I didn't like the sketch. Um, but I when I went over with my markers, it was fine. I liked the way it came out. I figured that this looked like a poinsettia, so if a poinsettia, you know those flowers you get around the holidays, those red ones, that if a poinsettia turned into a person, this would be that person. This is, looks like a little poinsettia person to me. Um, if you guys like these videos and you like the three marker challenge videos that I've done, if you want to see me do more of those, leave me a comment down below letting me know. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel for more art videos, follow me on Instagram. I did make a Twitter, so that's news. I've had a Twitter, I don't know, for a day or two now. Um, so I'm going to link that to my YouTube channel so that they can all be connected. So follow me for updates, new videos, and news about my channel. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned to the end for a shot of the clear photo of this picture so you can see the actual colors because my lighting was a little off during the video. So I posted a video uh, photo at the end so you guys can see the true colors. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.